Hello everybody, today I want to take a look at another hybrid build. This time, um, so everyone knows my normal hybrid build, which is a crossbow polearm. But I, I tried to make a bow polearm hybrid, and I wanted to see how that would look and compare to the normal one. And judge whether or not it's worth it for you to start making these as opposed to the crossbow polearms. So, a quick look, let's just, get, let's just look at the crossbow polearm hybrid. I love this build, if you haven't seen this. Uh, watch my video on it. This is one of the best builds I've ever fucking created in my life. I love this build. So you go, um, you go student, quick hands, brawny, you go, um, polearm mastery, crossbow mastery, uh, then, like, berserk, killing, or then battleforge, berserk, killing frenzy, uh, then pathfinder, and then you actually don't take bags and belts. I'm wrong. Where is it? You take colossus. Actually, I think you start, you go student, colossus, quick hands, and at the end you go gifted. You go gifted, um, and then you take melee attack, range attack, and probably stam. Get around, get about to around 20 melee defense. 20 melee defense should be your minimum. Um, you can get around 60 something HP, but with Colossus, that might get you up to 80, so that's fine. Um, try to aim to have around a 70 stam afterwards. 70 stam should be fine. You should look like having, um, if you can make this a regular one handed weapon, like if you could just make this like a hammer. And then have 70 stam, that's totally fine. That's what that's your end goal right there. So let's take a look at the bow now. The uh or actually let's go let's go into the rationale behind this. Okay, so it's a crossbow polearm. We went battle forged. Um well, this is probably the build right here. We went we went Colossus because we like having more HP. We we dropped baggies and belts. We found that we don't need the shield. This is for when I took range defense over melee defense, so I'd have some melee defense from a shield. But I started taking melee defense and it doesn't matter. Um we like having the the crossbow, we like having the polearm, and we like having a one-handed weapon. I'll just keep uh, a hammer here for simplicity's sake. Um, so what you do is you can reload with the crossbow, switch to the polearm, and attack, and that's 9 AP. You can attack with the polearm, or you can swing with the, um, the and, and then swing with the one-handed weapon, and that's 9 AP. If you start with the crossbow out and you can't uh, reload it because someone's next to you, you switch to the one-handed weapon, and you swing twice, and that's 8 AP. And that's fine. If you have, when you have Berserk, you can uh, shoot the crossbow once, switch to the polearm, get a kill, proc Berserk, and swing again, and that's all of your AP, including Berserk. Or you can swing once, get a kill on the second hit, switch with Berserk, and then use your crossbow. So there's uh, like multiple ways. You're always using your AP here with polearm spec. You're using, uh, you can move twice, and on on any train except Swamp, it's really great. You have a lot of action economy with the crossbow and the polearm and the one-handed weapon. It's perfect. We use Pathfinder instead of Recover because we're using that AP so much. We're, using, we're constantly using our AP, so we don't want to be um, recovering. We want to be keeping our stam low, and that we can do that with Pathfinder. That's really great. So now, uh, we use Battle Forged because I like Battle Forged more. I think one of the issues is I think this bow doesn't get hit enough. So you can get some pretty decent Battleforged armor. I don't. I think you need more than. Um, you need more than nimble. If you have top tier nimble armor, you're probably giving that to builds like the Fencer or builds like the Flail or um, your nimble tank or your Katal or an Archer or anyone else that needs it. These guys don't get hit enough to warrant needing top tier nimble armor, but you don't want to give them like. 115 mail for the rest of the game. That's pretty terrible. So just give them some. Um, I think Battle Forge works fine. I love this build. I don't necessarily think I need. I need a uh, uh, nimble. This bow build, on the other hand, though, let's go into the bow build real quick. This is a nimble build because with a bow you need the max view range, which means you need a light helmet. Well, which means you need a helmet with no minus view, which is usually a salad helmet or it's the wolf helmet. Or at the 90 coif, all of which aren't giving you Battle Forged. I think Battle Forged with additional fur padding is just better than Nimble, um, especially when you don't have a shit ton of hit points. So then, uh, but when you have this and you just don't have that ability for Battle Forged, that's what you're going to go with. So you go Student, you go uh, Colossus. Again, now you definitely need Colossus because this is a Nimble build. Quick Hands, Whole Arm Spec, Bow Spec, uh, Nimble, Berserk, Killing Frenzy. Pathfinder, you want a uh, bullseye because you're using a bow, and bulls. This, um, 
we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit, but you definitely want Bullseye on this build. And then we're going to go Gifted again for the same reason. I could almost see Recover. But I took this build, um, I wanted to try this build, and I didn't want to wait to get a really good bro, so I just found this dude. His stats were fine, they were good enough, so I just took Gifted. I didn't think about using Recover, I just wanted his stats to be fine. Um, you could, you might want to take Recover on this build over Gifted, I just want to warrant that you might want to take Recover. For when you shoot a bow, get a kill, and then uh, you proc your Berserk, with get your full AP back, and then you recover. But, alright, so let's look at this. So, this build is nimble. It, uh, so it takes more HP, which is fine, because these builds have very low HP. You also get more stam back, because you're wearing lighter armor. Why would I want a bow, is the question. Well, the issue is, I stopped using archers, so my only ranged units were actually these crossbows, and I like the range on bows for, I like them for necromancers, I like them for engineers, I like them for shooting, uh, goblin overseers and shamans, although I found my way around that. If I want to shoot like a beast master or something, if I want to shoot hexen, hexen are really big. There's, but mostly what I was actually worried about was southern city engineers with the mortars. That was what I was most worried about because I could cover everything else. I could even get hexen. Hexen are a second, but I don't find hexen enough. So that is what I was worried about. And so now, um, this that's why I wanted to use a bow for the extra range. So with a bow, that's why with these priority targets, sometimes engineers are behind walls. Or they're behind some dude in front of them. Hexen are behind enemies, so you want bullseye. So, I'll say with Decromancers as well. You want So you want the bow, which means you want bullseye. So Okay, so you have a bow. How does the bow AP work as opposed to the crossbow AP? Well, the bow AP is fine because it's 4 AP to shoot your bow and then it's 5 AP to use your, your pole arm. So that's totally fine. The, um, this works. Is it necessary? No. It probably does work best in um, in engineer against Southern City engineers. I don't think it works against necromancers very well um, because I might put a little graphic on the screen. Is because you have the necro fucker build where you, I've talked about this many times. Take one of these guys, run around the top or bottom of the map, around the zombies, and shoot the necromancer with your crossbow. That works. You can do it with a bow, but the crossbow can actually one one shot kill the necromancer. So that works. Um, Hexen, the crossbows do a lot of damage. And if they hit, they will maybe two, they will definitely two shot kill the crossbow or kill the Hexen. They might one shot if you get a headshot. Um, what else? Like goblins, we found a way around goblins. Um, that's a formation thing. Uh, that's not time and place for this in this video. So it's really Southern, Southern City Engineers. I've done it with crossbows where you do the same thing with like a Necrofucker and you run around the map. But that's not really efficient, so I do actually like the bow for that for that ability. They kill the engineers. But other than that, I don't think this build is very necessary. I like it. The, the problem is is I get stuck in wanting to use the bow. I just like I'm like, oh, I have a bow. Let me shoot twice. I'll shoot on two sixties against a brigand. And then I don't, and I like hit him once, and it doesn't do anything because it's a single bow shot. And then um, I'm actually still back. I'm not moving forward with the rest of this team. Uh, like with the crossbow, you can shoot, reload, and move up one. With the bow, you shoot twice, and you're stuck. It's, so it's not worth it. I don't really aim shot with this ever. I'm kind of just quick shotting a lot. So, as if I wanted one high damage shot, I'd just use a goddamn crossbow. I wouldn't use the bow. The bow is good for the two shots here. Um,. Yeah, it's fine. This build's okay. Would I recommend having... I would not make more than one of these. I would have one of them at most. It's fine, I guess. It's... I like Nimble. I guess I like Nimble. I still think I'm going to go with Battleforged. Even if it's just... um. Let's look at this. Where's like a... Where's this white handler hat? How much... No. Battleforged. 79 Battleforged is fine. It's not It's not great. I mean, we get here. If you get this legendary salad helmet, you get um 72. Which is also fine. So, these builds work fine. Like, they're... I love this build. I would not... I like this build overall more. I think this build has its use if you're not fighting... If you fight against the north and the southern city fights, um, in the, in the Holy War, then just don't build this, I don't think. But I wanted to let everyone know there is an additional build for this. I tried it out. I don't think it's as good. But it's fine. So, that'll be it. I, um, hope you guys enjoyed the analysis here. And I'll see you around.